Good morning. Welcome to your daily operations weather brief at 815. We'll have a very nice morning out there so far. Just a little bit of mid-level cloudiness. Temperatures rising into the uh, lower 70s this morning. We'll have a chance of some scattered showers this afternoon with a sea breeze boundary moving on shore and a little bit of forcing in the upper levels to provide us with about a 20% chance of a scattered shower here at the Wallops region, along, especially along the coastal sections of the Delmarva Peninsula. Looking at our 9Z surface analysis, we have high pressure that's currently across the Ohio Valley. I'll try to press in the region uh, for the next few days. We have Tropical Storm Jose just being uh, starting to show here on the uh, infrared satellite image from this surface analysis uh, just north of the Bahamas this morning. Had a little bit of convection that developed over the Gulf Stream uh, last night and this morning. It will continue to move off uh, to the east today. Overall, we're going to maintain a, a dry weather uh, until about noon, and then we introduce some rain chances after that point uh, with those scattered sea breeze type showers popping up. Looking at our observation map from this morning, we do have temperatures rising into the from the low, from, excuse me, from the upper 60s to the lower 70s. Uh, dew points are still in the mid-60s this morning, so it is a little bit humid out there. And we have uh, some mid-level cloudiness as seen here on the infrared satellite. It's going to be over the region and moving from the west to the east throughout the day today. So we'll be seeing partly cloudy skies in general for today. Possibility we go mostly cloudy once that sea breeze boundary moves on shore. The uh, radar images here, we just see some anomalous propagation or some ground clutter close to the radars this morning with uh, typical morning inversions and we'll be seeing that, uh, that, that disappear as we move into the late morning afternoon hours. Here is our high resolution HER model. It shows that we move into the afternoon hours. Here's 1 o'clock and then 2 o'clock you can see some showers popping up north of the region of the Wabs region. That is most likely the case today. I'm expecting some sea breeze showers, uh, possibly over the Wallops region, but most likely north of the area and then along the uh, 113 to 13 bound, excuse me, roadways. And that's going to be the mainly the case today with some showers in that region. So for our current conditions, as of 8 a.m. this morning, we have broken deck at 11,000 feet, a southeasterly wind at a 150 azimuth at 4 knots, temperature at 71 degrees, and relative humidity at 88%. Looking at our hazards today, we have a green chart for this morning, temperature rising from about 70 degrees at 8 a.m. this morning to 80 degrees at 12 p.m. this afternoon, looking at a southeast wind at 5 to 10 knots. Moving on to the afternoon hours, we'll see a high around 81 degrees today. We have uh, yellow for precipitation, as I mentioned, we could have there's showers popping up, most likely north of the area, but overall have about a 20% chance of seeing a shower here at Wallops. Uh, winds becoming more south-southeasterly with that sea breeze at 5 to 10 knots. And then moving into the evening and overnight hours, we'll have dry conditions, no chances of precipitation or lightning during that time period. And winds will become quite light tonight. Variable and less than 5 knots will be the main uh, wind and dominant wind for tonight. We'll have a low around 66 degrees. Cannot rule out some patchy fog as we had this morning, especially over the agricultural fields uh, by tomorrow morning. A little bit better of a chance uh, tomorrow morning than it was this morning here at Wallops with those light winds. We will have a slight chance of a thunderstorm with those sea breeze showers popping up uh, this afternoon, looking like a 10% chance of that occurring. Our 24-hour terminal forecast, we have a Currently a broken deck at 11,000 feet, unrestricted visibility is a likely scenario. We'll go scattered at 11,000 feet from now until 10 o'clock. And then after 10 o'clock, we'll see a little bit of a fair weather cumulus cloudiness popping up at a few at 3,000. Also a scattered deck at 12,000, a scattered deck at 25,000. Then afternoon today, as I mentioned, we'll have that chance of some showers in the region, 10% chance of a thunderstorm. That'll range from about noon until 1,600 local. And then this evening into the overnight hours will just become mostly clear to mostly sunny by tomorrow morning with that slight chance of some patchy fog developing overnight. Looking at our uh, weekend, we'll have fairly nice conditions overall for Saturday, partly to mostly cloudy and pleasant, a high of 80 degrees, a very slight chance of a pop-up shower 
on Saturday. Uh, that's going to look like it's under a 10% chance. So no signs of that here on the risk chart. Looking at Saturday night, we're going to have uh, easterly flow starting to develop, and that will be light Saturday night, a low of 67, and that's going to allow for us to have a fairly good chance of some fog developing over the area. And then Sunday will become mostly cloudy after that fog uh, burns off during the morning. Onshore breezes increasing during the afternoon with a high of 77 degrees and a yellow for our ceilings and visibility during the morning hours. And then we'll see just mostly cloudy skies during the afternoon on Sunday. Taking a quick look at our tropics this morning, we do have Tropical Storm Jose. It was downgraded uh, yesterday afternoon from a hurricane to a tropical storm. Maximum sustained winds currently at 70 miles an hour and moving west-northwest at 7 uh, knots or 8 miles an hour. Here's the hurricane track uh, from this morning. We can see it's forecasted to uh, may become a hurricane and uh, strengthen as it moves northwestward and then finally northward. Uh, right now, the cone of uncertainty is quite large once it moves up into our neck of the woods. Looking at uh, the hurricane center's track, fairly well off the coast with only some uh, breezy conditions here at Wallops and a very slight chance of a rain shower with this track here. Uh, looking at the infrared satellite from Jose this morning, we have uh, a fairly deep area of convection that is developing over the center this morning. Could be indicating some strengthening as shear has decreased. We can see the outflow in the storm is much nicer, uh, at least much nicely seen this morning from the north and to the south. We also have some uh, banding that's being shown on the infrared satellite, and that is typically a sign of also some strengthening. Looking at the uh, forecast models from this morning at 6Z, we can see it's going to continue to move off the west-northwest and then finally northwest and then finally northward as we move over the weekend into early next week. Looking like uh, passing east of our coastline on Monday into Tuesday, and you can see here the uh, consensus of the models is to definitely pass it off of our coast, not making landfall, but uh, we have seen a westward trend in these forecast models, and that is leading to a little bit of some breezy conditions expected possibly for Monday and Tuesday and possibility of a rain shower. Looking at the uh, 6Z GFS ensembles, uh, we can see here the mean and the operational are very close together. That's typically a good sign that the models or this model suite is in agreement where the storm is going to go. But we also see there are several tracks that have been uh, shown on the ensemble guidance here that is taking it closer to our coast uh, and would provide us with some impacts to the Wallops region with windier conditions and also uh, rainfall. We'll continue to monitor Jose uh, over the next several days, uh, especially if it does trend westward with the uh, forecast models. There has been a westward shift in the ensemble guidance the last few runs, so we will continue to monitor this for any uh, westward shift, as I mentioned, and any impacts it would make to the Wallops region uh, for the upcoming week. That's going to complete the weather briefing this morning at 8.15. Hope everybody has a great day. We'll be back at 10 a.m. this morning for the look at the next seven days.